Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So, I thought I'd do a bit of a sit down video today as I've not done one of those in ages. It's kind of been more like vlogs, Jimmy type videos. Although this is still gonna be related to the gym, but I wanted it to be a bit more sit down-ish. And I just wanted to talk to you about what my favorite gym girl kind of things are. And like my gym girl kind of like must haves that I would recommend to you if you don't already have already. Just so I can help a girl out, you know, like girl to girl help. Because I want to try and do everything that I can to help you guys on your fitness journeys as well. Um, and if there's some products that I have that you don't have that maybe you want to try out that I've recommended, then mission accomplished, I've helped someone. <laughs> if I can just help one person, that would make me feel good. So yeah, I'm going to talk to you about my gym must-haves. Um, this is things that are kind of like actually in the gym, out of the gym. Also just things to do with like motivation with regards to the gym and stuff, like books. Uh, it's not necessarily just gym stuff, like in the gym. But you'll see, I'll get straight into it. So the first product that I want to talk about is a barbell pad. Now, for us girls trying to grow booties, we do hip thrusts. And I'm not being funny, but the ones at the gyms are really like scummy and sweaty and horrid. So if you don't already have your own, I would definitely recommend getting your own. Same goes with things like straps and also like lifting belts. I've got mine in here as well, which I will show you. I just think the equipment at the gym is so like, no, I'm not going near that. So if you don't already have your own things, I would recommend getting them because it's useful because you put it in your bag and then you don't, when you get to the gym, you don't have to like spend loads of time looking around the gym for like the little bits of equipment that you need and it just prolongs a session and then if you don't find it, you have to like change up your whole routine and it's just not nice. So, oh, fucking little fly. So, this is the lifting bell that I have. I often get quite a lot of um, questions about where this is from. So, it's from Caroline O'Mahony on Instagram, it's from her brand, so I think it's called like C-O-M Fitness and to be honest I don't really use it that often anymore but it comes in such good handy when I do and it's a lever belt so it's really fun to like snap off once you've done your set so yeah I'd highly recommend it though, it's really good Um, it's the best belt I've ever tried, I hate those ones with like the buckle you know with where you put it in the holes, I hate those ones so this one is good, the lever one, I like it, but it is personal preference as well. And then yeah, same with regards to straps as well. So these straps that I have are from Amazon. They're just from a brand called Beast Gear um, and they're really good, they just do the job. Quite, I think they're like a tenner or something, so quite cheap. But yeah, there's also, I never really see straps like l hanging around in the gym. I feel like everyone's either taken them all or the gym just doesn't have any. So if your gym is like that, then I would definitely Get some grip, uh, get some straps because I feel like they're inessential if you are someone that like lifts quite heavy because more often than not, your grip strength is gonna give in way before your actual muscles that are trying to be worked, which you don't want. You want the muscles to actually be working more than your wrists. So yeah, I would highly recommend investing in a pair of straps. They don't need to be like top quality brands, like literally, like I said, these are literally just off Amazon and they're really good. And then this barbell pad, I actually got it gifted to me like so, so long ago, like years ago, as you can see, it's got like splits in it, but it does the job, it's really good. It's from a brand called Compose Limited. And yeah, highly recommend getting a barbell pad because I feel like if gyms don't have barbell pads, often you have to use like a mat and like fold it over and no, I don't like that, I don't like that at all. Also as well, like bands for warming up and stuff with your upper body. I like to do a lot of this action. Um, I take these, I can't say that I use them because I always forget to take them out of my bag, but they are helpful because I can never find bands in the gym. And then I'm just like, oh, fuck it, I just won't use one. But I should. They're in my bag if I need it. Okay, and then next product I'm going to talk about is maybe something a little bit more for... People that like to film their workouts, obviously if you don't film your workouts or anything you can just skip this part if you want, but it is a tripod. So I actually have a couple. Um, where's my other one? So this is the one that I've been using literally until I've got this, which was literally like a week ago. I've had this about a week. But this is it's quite good to be fair, because obviously as you can see it's quite small. Um, so you just go like that and go like that and you go like that with the feet so it goes on the floor. And then this bit you kind of rotate and then these bits come out and you just slot your phone in there, can you see? And then you just stand it up. 
and it's kind of like it's really it's really short though which i don't like i like it to be a little bit taller and um, but this one actually came with with like um a bluetooth button thing where you can take photos with the button but i never figured out how to use it so i just never used it before but yeah this is off amazon that one is off amazon as well um i actually can't remember what it's called i'll try and link it in the description if i find it but to be honest it's actually broke already and i don't know if that's just because i rag it around but like one leg comes out and then this leg just doesn't come out if you yank it out but then like it actually comes out like it's broke and one of the leg bits that's inside the pull out bit has like broken and like it's basically like gone missing because it, it just won't come out um so that's really good but yeah again like i said it basically does the job really again this was only like 15 pounds so this stuff is not like very expensive if you want to invest in it i would recommend um i just feel like obviously it takes a lot of confidence to use a tripod in the gym i know that i still get a little bit shy using one it's a bit like awkward but like i never used to do it i used to feel so embarrassed like setting up my tripod but now i just kind of think like we literally live on a floating rock in space just whip the tripod out no one cares like nobody actually cares like i've had so many people come up to me in the gym actually and ask where it's from so i feel like if people look at you they kind of look at you in a good way not a bad way if that makes anybody feel better i don't think anyone's like oh what are they doing like if I saw someone filming, I'd be like, oh, that's cool, like, good on you. Yeah, this is your sign to stop worrying about what people think. Life's too short to think and worry about other people's opinions, so just do what you want to do. Okay, and then the next product I'm going to talk about is headphones. So, for the longest time, I used AirPods, and while they do the job, and they are actually way louder than these, they just fall out of my ears all the time, and I also think these look cooler as well. I think headphones look sick in the gym. So these are from Beats. That's Beats in it, not Bose. I said to Anton the other day, he was like, where are your earphones from? And I said, Bose. I don't think it is Bose, though. I think these are Beats. I don't, I, I, I couldn't tell you what um, model they are, though. But like, they just look cool, don't they? Some people might not think so, but I think they look quite cool. Just an FYI, if you are gonna get some, a, some beats i don't know if it's just this model or if it's all the beats model earphones but basically they are really quiet especially compared to airpods i find airpods like really loud which is really good but i do prefer these in the gym i, I just feel a bit more sturdy and because they cover your whole ear although those ones aren't noise cancelling they feel kind of noise cancelling because they're going over your whole ear whereas airpods are obviously just like a little bud um, but I feel like that's down to personal preference as well but earphones, headphones, either one, get what you want I would just recommend them so much for literally getting in the zone like I actually could not have a good workout without music like directly in my ears not the gym music, oh my lordy lord I would rather not go to the gym than listen to the gym music for like a full two hours no, I can't do it uh, having earphones on headphones literally keeps me in the zone so much and it lets people know that i don't want to talk to them although you still you still get those some of those people that just like talk to you while you got earphones in and you're like what but yeah i also find that earphones and stuff like help motivate me actually as well get to the gym as, as well as a good playlist so i'd say that like earphones and a good playlist go hand in hand is my like must have so if i did not have a good gym playlist and i did not have anything to get me hyped I would not be able to hit any PBs or anything the same. Like, it just wouldn't be the same. I wouldn't be in the zone as much and I wouldn't be as motivated. So, if you've not tried it already and you've not tried, like, making a playlist specifically dedicated to the gym with songs that you think are going to, like, get you hyped up and stuff and you've not got any earphones, then definitely try it. I promise you it'll change your life. It'll change your workouts and it'll just change your whole mindset within the gym. It makes me worry less about people as well in the gym. makes me less anxious about other people. When I've just got my earphones in and I'm just focusing on myself, listening to my music, and I'm in the zone, I feel like when I don't have my earphones in, I'm just, like always like looking around like wondering what everyone else is doing because i can hear people talking i can i can i feel like when you can hear you can see better i don't know if that's just me but when i can actually hear stuff i can see it better as well <laughs> and the other way around as well so yeah i would highly recommend getting some earphones and a good playlist okay, so my next gym girl must have 
would be this hairspray now or just any hairspray but this one is the best i've ever tried so if you're like me and you like to slick your hair back like slick rick you want it to be stuck on your head like that then i would highly recommend this hairspray and also the gel i've got the gel as well which i use sometimes if my flyaways just won't go down but when i do my slick bone slick pony slick anything i always use this and my hair some people may not like this but my hair is literally like a walker's crisp it does not move and it is it's rock hard it does not move i try to do that on my hair when it's kind of really greasy and i need to wash it just because i would feel like it was a wasted hair wash day if i put this on after i would washed it like now i wouldn't want to put it on right now but if you like the feeling of your hair being rock solid and not budging whatsoever then i would highly recommend this i think i Oh no, I think I got this in Morrison's actually, but obviously you'd be able to get it on Amazon and stuff. I think it was like, I don't know how much it was. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm, just, I'm not going to recommend any price because I've got no idea. But yeah, I've got the gel as well and they're both so good. Um, so if you have trouble like sticking your flyaways down, if you've got really like frizzy hair or something and your hair is just never slicked back as much as you want, this got to be glued hairspray is very very good the best i've ever tried okay so my next gym girl must have is gonna be this bad boy not this just this one but in general a big water bottle that reminds me i'm just gonna drink some hello this is on my bed you want to see him oh he's so cute so yeah my next gym girl must have would be a big old water bottle i think this is one and a half liters but i always just used to have those like tiny little bottles sort of like this and i never ever used to be able to drink as much water in the day and now i drink like three to four liters without fail every single day and drinking water is honestly probably one of the top three things in making progress and just generally living a healthy lifestyle is drinking enough water like i actually now could not think of anything worse than going to get a glass from the cupboard in the kitchen and drinking water from that I can't remember the last time I did that. Um, but like with this, if this is full to the top, I just find myself having it like throughout the day and I never fail to get my water in throughout the day. I genuinely actually love drinking water. I know some people hate it, but like you can put squash in it, like you can put whatever you want in it to make sure that you drink your water. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you get the water. Obviously like don't overload it with loads of sugar. I would recommend the sugar-free um, squash things that you can get, but yeah. I always used to never drink enough water and it's because my bottles weren't big enough and it just wasn't forcing me to drink as much water because I couldn't be asked to go and then fill it up from the tap and stuff so these I have two of these a day and I've never failed of it it's amazing I'll link it in the description okay my next gym girl must have will be my supplements now I've only picked a few just because I don't want to obviously talk about all my supplements in this video it's not about supplements but I'm just going to show you the kind of main ones that I probably couldn't live without on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, I could. That's an exaggeration. But I really wouldn't want to live without them. So, to start off with, we've got Oxy Greens. Now, I talk about these quite a lot on my YouTube, actually. I've mentioned them in my What I Eat In A Day last week. Um, so, I'm not going to blab on about them so much because... I know you've probably all heard about it. I have these every morning and they are just a great way to start my day. They just have so many benefits and they just like make me feel so good in the morning when I have them. Even just like mentally because I know that I've already hit my like five a day in one scoop of these and it's just like a mental thing. It makes me feel good mentally. Knowing that I've done that, they include so many different antioxidants and they just contain so many different nutrient dense foods that just help increase immunity, help with your digestive system and also they help to de bloat as well, I find personally. So I could not live without these every morning. Next, we've got our beloved Oxy Shred. So, Oxy Shred, I take this before the gym with my creatine mixed in basically nearly every day and it acts like a pre-workout but it provides a natural boost of energy and it also boosts immunity and boosts your mood as well so who wouldn't want that? You can get this in the caffeine version and you can also... Oh, you are right. And you can also get the non-stim version if you don't like any caffeine. But yeah, I mix this with my creatine which is also the other product that I couldn't live without. I have creatine every day, just one scoop every day. 
Um, creatine just helps with a lot of things. I'm not going to go into it, but you can do your own research on creatine. I would love to talk about it, but it just takes too long. So if I start talking about it, I will stop. But if you want to shop any of these supplements, then you can use my code MIA, which will get you some money off. And I'll leave the link in the description, which you can shop to your heart's content. Okay, so next gym girl must have, we have some converse now it doesn't really matter if they're converse or not i would just recommend in general some flat shoes so if you are oh, text her. If, if you are lifting in like platform shoes with like so many different levels to them and like just not flat then stop it please you're gonna just mess up your whole like balance when you're doing squats and stuff for example squats um so a flat shoe just helps you keep your balance or even doing it barefoot but I just find that a flat shoe personally helps me with so many different lifts even upper body like if I'm doing shoulder press I find that having a flat footing just helps me so much yeah and just with every lift I just like to have a flat foot obviously like lifting weights you don't want to be balance you, you don't want your balance going off all around the shop which is what like shoes that are not flat will do for you if they like have a big platform at the back and stuff it's just going to mess up your whole balance so i would definitely recommend getting some flat shoes i know that like you can get vans you can get loads of different ones um obviously sometimes it's not safe to go barefoot in the gym for example i can't really squat in my gym barefoot in the squat rack because the floor is kind of like shiny and slippy so if i was to go in socks there then i'd probably slap it on the floor so i have to squat in my shoes but if i can do it in a place where i can squat without shoes then i'll do that but yeah, I would highly recommend getting some flat shoes if you don't already have them already. So my next gym girl must have would be these two little books. So this isn't really a book. This is more of like a notepad journal sort of thing. So I use this book to just write down any ideas that I have gym wise, content wise. And I also write down my reps and sets and stuff of um, my lifts in here sometimes, which is really helpful in the gym so that I can keep track of my weights and stuff and make sure that I'm progressively overloading. But I also just write things in here as well to do with like money. Everything like this has got my information in goals everything is in here so if you don't have one of these i feel like it's a really good motivational sort of thing so if you are looking for one i got this in wh smiths they have loads of good ones in there but yeah i feel like this is a really good motivational sort of thing to have it sets you up for whatever you want to do in life and you can write them down and manifest your goals in here and then the next book i have is from my beloved chrissy cella now i'm sure most of you have probably read this book already but if you are wanting a book that's informative motivational and something that you just need advice with on your fitness journey then i would highly recommend this book sorry dex is just getting off my bed are you coming to say hi are you coming to say hi Oh. so yeah if you've not read this already then i highly recommend um it's just so good if you are looking for a motivational book that is also informative this is the perfect one for you and also close to home it's my girl chrissy so i love reading this i just read this when i can to be honest i'm halfway through now and i started reading it on holiday and it just made me want to come home and get my life together completely um but yeah it's motivational but it's also so informative she has so much information in here to do with fitness and gym wise so if you are looking for a book like that then i would highly recommend this i think you can get it from amazon you can get it from most places okay so the last final probably most important one that i have is to make sure that you have some good gym fits or even just one good gym fit that you feel so confident in that makes you want to go to the gym so i don't know about you guys well I think i do i think everyone feels the same way about this but when you get a new gym set it just makes you want to go to the gym and work so hard in that gym set so if you don't already have some amazing gym sets then go grab yourself some all of mine are from honor active i will talk good things about honor active until the day that i die because i want everybody to try honor active at least once in their whole life and just see how confident it makes them feel honestly i've never felt more confident than I do when I wear honour and I'm sure the girls that wear honour as well will vouch for that and agree with me. Just nothing compares to it whatsoever. No other companies or brands compare to Honor Active in my opinion and I 
wear it every single day. I can confidently say that I wear some form of Honor Active every single day. So yeah, if you are wanting some new gym fits, then you can go check out what is on the Honor Active site. A lot of the stuff is out of stock because it is in such high demand at the moment, but you can go to the link in my description and see what's left in your size and go grab yourself some bits if you are wanting some new gym sets. This sports bra is from a launch just a couple of weeks ago. I'm sure you will have all seen about it on my socials, but there was this sunset colour and then a colour called Zest, which was like greeny. It was like a luminous green, my favourite drop to date. So you can go check the site and see if there's any things from that drop and your size. But yeah, I think that is all my gym girl must-haves. I'm sure there's something else that I will have forgotten, but these are probably my main ones. I just like laid them all out here so that I know to talk about them and I can't miss any of that stuff out so please let me know if you want to see more videos like this I know it's a little bit different and some people might find it a little bit boring but I know some girls would like to know what sort of stuff that I use on a daily basis gym wise and I hope that I've helped some of you out and if you want to go get any of this stuff I'll try to leave as many links in the description as possible and um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in the next one